Um, tonight what we did, which is a little different, you know, we really took the last 20 minutes of practice and really we call it player driven, but the players kind of went through what they'll do this summer in off season workouts when the coaches aren't there. Uh, you know, obviously um, they can bring the footballs out. They can, they can do football related things as long as the coaches aren't there. And if they're going to get together and do things, which teams do, we want to make sure they do it the right way, do it the safe way. So we took about the last half of our practice tonight and just really let them take it, take their helmets off because they don't have helmets on in the summer when they're out there working against each other and had them just take it and kind of show us what they're going to do. So uh, maybe we could advise them on ways it could be safer and, and um, more productive. Yeah. Uh, Dakota Cox, I mean, the way, the way you're uh defensive roster is shaped. Uh, he's probably had as many snaps as just about anybody on your defense and probably made the most tackles. Yeah. Uh, you, are you expecting him as a sophomore to, to assume a leadership role? Yeah, no question. I mean, he's, he's a unique kid. He, um, um, he came in here and, and uh, um, you know, did some things that not many freshmen can do uh, without, without a lot of help around them, you know, to be quite honest. I mean, he was out there and just persevered some very difficult, through some very difficult times. Um, again, you know, I've talked about who the real A to B guys are on this team. I mean, Dakota Cox just does it naturally. Just every step he takes since the moment he's got here has been full speed. And, um, you know, it's very important for him. His dad was a starting center at USC. Um, his brother, uh, well, I won't even go there, but um, very athletic family, um, very good background in college football. And he's, he's going to be a leader for us. There's no question, no question about that. Okay. Well, I, got a, I have a couple of questions. Sure. I to ask. Uh, concerning Gong Bay, uh, do you have anything that you could offer about with the recent events? And, you know, looks like it's going to be a couple of weeks before he actually has to face any more court. Do you have any comments about? Uh, you know, not really. I mean, there's nothing, uh, even if I did want to comment, and even if it was appropriate for me to comment, there's really nothing to comment on. Um, you know, I'm not involved in this process, uh, you know, so there's really, there's really nothing, and I'm sure people can understand that, there, there's nothing new to report from my end of it. Right. On a kind of similar, also not uh, kind of touching, mm -hmm. social media, Yeah. and you know, players trying to support them and everything like that, is there anything you can do to control? Yeah, you know, I talked to our players today about that, you know, I said, uh, you know, in the real world, which is what we're preparing these kids for every day in this process, they're going to be have access to social media and they're going to have to make those kind of decisions whether it's now um, involving lobo football with the recent incident that happened or maybe it's in the workplace 10 years from now you know people monitor social media so rather than rather than me just shut it down for them i don't think that's helping them deal with the real world you know i'd rather take it and yeah there may be some mistakes made you know, some guys may vent their frustrations or vent their loyalty, but I'd rather take it in a constructive way and say, listen, you know, if we really want to help this program right now, if we want to really hand, want to help the person involved, there's probably a better way to do that. So, again, you know, I mean, rather than just take it away and make that rule, I'd rather teach them in a constructive way how to deal with it, even though they may make some mistakes here early on. Jerry Magnet, am I saying that properly? Uh, Jerick Magnet. Jerick, sorry. Uh, another spring under his belt, how do you think he's going to do? Yeah, Jerick Magnet is a guy that was a um, walk-on when we came here. Uh, he's earned a scholarship. He's a Rio Rancho kid that um, has continually gotten better. And, and the thing I've talked to, to Jerick about is this last year, see himself as a big-time player. You know, he, he's beyond the era of coming here and walking on. Uh, he, he's gone from instead of being a role receiver or a guy that plays a little bit to a guy who has to play a lot. So I, I think really it starts with him seeing himself for the ability he has and for the impact he has on this team and, you know, get himself out of the shadows a little bit. You know, he's got enough talent. He's got enough experience. Step up and go now. You know, it's his last year of college football. And, you know, I hope to see some really good things from him. He, he's a great young man. All the questions I had, sure. Thank you. Based on the goals, met the goals? Uh, no question. You know, because the goals this spring were one thing, A to B. That's it. Simply that. A to B, uh, player driven. And I've seen, I've seen that. You know, our kids will go out there now and they're starting, they're starting to know what it's like to compete and, and play at this level from just a 
the way you carry yourself. So yeah, I mean, A to B right now, from the time the ball snapped till the whistle blows, I think we're finally, finally starting to get that. And it's, it's kind of exciting. Caleb Kimbrough, what's the news on it? Uh, MRI last night, results of the MRI will come back probably tonight. Um, we're anticipating surgery, so he would probably, you know, probably go through kind of a pre-surgery um, rehab, so to speak, strengthen it as much as we can, get the swelling down as much as we can, then he would have surgery. Uh, Francisco actually had surgery this morning. Um, you can talk to Bob Waller. I think they put a couple screws in there. It was a a fracture. Uh, he's doing well. Um, he's he's you know, hopefully he's going to be out here tomorrow night. Uh, I know his family's coming tomorrow night. Okay. All right, guys.